Brought to you by Donuts Motorworks. Whitesboro Plow Shop, Dirt Car, excuse me, the um, Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stocks coming up next. Eight laps will be the distance. It will be the uh, 75, the white 75. Of Eli Gilbert on point. Alongside of him will be Pete Stefanski in car number two. Row number two is going to feature Michael Clark in the double zero C with the X-15 of Tyler Bushy. Dakota Sharp in car number 12 alongside of the 75 of Kenny Hartshorn. Final row back there in row number four. We are going to find... with these other two cars here in just a moment. Six or eight laps is the distance. We are back to green. Green lights are on and we're off and running and it looks like it's going to be Eli Gilbert out in front as they head down the back straightaway into turn number three and four. It'll look out one car off the back straightaway. Look like it's the uh, six of Steve Gilmore. Ricky Duskus in the three, I believe, off of turn number four. Back down to the line. Who's going to lead lap number one? Gilbert by a nose down in front of Pete Stefanski as they make their way up into turns one and a two. 75 of Gilbert. A little loose on that high lane. Stefanski a little better on the bottom. He'll drag race him down the back stretch looking for the lead. Tyler Bushy right there with him in third, followed by Dakota Sharp, our opening day winner in fourth. Kenny Hartshorn rounds out the top five as they bring it across the line. Stefanski trying to get the lead away and does by mere inches at the line. He'll lead the way, but here comes the uh, 75 of Gilbert down the back straightaway as Dakota Sharp trying to get by the X-15 and Tyler Bushy down into turn number three. Sharp right there with Bushy in fourth as the... Across the line for lap number three, it is Stefanski in control now as the 75 of Gilbert getting drop kicked back to the two spot. Dakota Sharp third, followed by the 15 of Bushy into fourth. Kenny Hartshore and Michael Clark, Ricky Duskus in that order. So it is confirmed that is Jason Gilmore in car number six and Ricky Duskus in the three towards the back portion of the field. In the meantime, at the front of the field, it's all Pete Stefanski right now as he leads the way by about three car lengths. The 75 of Eli Gilbert up on that high side. Dakota Sharp trying to get on by to pick up second. Sharp, of course, has been running this car everywhere and anywhere he can. He ran it in the street stock division at Brockville a few weeks ago. Crossed the line first, but came across the scales a little bit behind in the weight. And uh, had a good run at Cornwall a few weeks ago with this car and also had a similar issue. But right now he's holding on to second as he brings it across the line. He'll get by Gilbert for the two spot. Gilbert back to third. Bushy, Hartshorn in that top five order. Then it's Ricky Duskus, Jason Gilmore, and Michael Clark in that order. But Pete Stefanski has been the dominant force here tonight. The four-time Dirt Car Pro Stock Series champion and two-time winner at Napa Auto Parts Super Dirt Week in the Dirt Car Pro Stock 50. Did it on the mile in 2009 and in 2012. Working his way down the back straightaway. Nearly 100 wins in Dirt Car Pro Stock racing to his credit. He'll work it up into turn number three and four. He's got a healthy five car length lead on Dakota Sharp and that's how they're going to finish. It's going to be Pete Stefanski picking up the victory in the first and only heat for the Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stocks, Dakota Sharp second. Eli Gilbert third, followed by the 15 of Bushy and the 